Hey YouTube, it's Jeff at Dark Moon Metals. I'm filming an experiment today. Um, I don't even know if this is going to make it to YouTube. Uh, this video, worst case scenario, my mother can use it to explain to the coroner exactly how I died. Um, what I need to do is drill a 15 16 hole into a block of aluminum that's three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, I don't have a 15 16 drill bit. So what I'm going to attempt to use, and this is just out of pure necessity, because if I can't get this hole drilled, I have to stop what I'm doing for the night and then go out, find a drill bit, and uh, start again in the morning. What I'm going to use is a paddle bit for woodworking. Now, this is a steel drill bit. Regular steel can cut aluminum. Um, I had a wood cutting bandsaw and I used to cut thin aluminum on that all the time and it never damaged the blade at all. So I'm going to try using another wood product on aluminum because aluminum is a soft metal. What I am doing though, uh, if you notice this, this is uh, a speed bore drill bit. Speed bore is the brand. And um, the reason I'm using this, this is a cheap Chinese knockoff or Taiwanese or something like that. You could see the cutting edge is a heck of a lot more uh, defined on the speed bore and it has these points and I believe that these points will help stabilize the drill as it's going through the aluminum. Uh, if you look closely at that, it's a fairly new bit. It doesn't have a lot of wear on it. I'm going to pull this out of the drill press at the end to see what it looks like and see how badly I messed it up if I do it all. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is drill a pilot hole so the point of the speed bore has something to travel down. The other thing I'm going to have to do is flip it over when I'm about halfway through because my drill press vise won't, uh, it doesn't have enough clearance for the speed bore. But I'm not going to cut the video. I'm going to do this one complete take. So I'm going to bring the camera over here and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Let me get you adjusted here. And remember, if you're going to do something potentially stupid, at least be safe about it. And I know a lot of you are already going to say, my god, how fast is that drill press going? Uh, I used to work at a machine shop and I had a machinist tell me one time that with aluminum, almost the faster you can do it, the better it is. Especially if you're machining it dry. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not using any lubricant or anything here. So we're going to see if, uh, if he was right about that. Get this in there. Tighten this down. And I'm going to see if I can get the camera closer. Let's see here. Come on. This tripod's not very cooperative, but that's, that's a better angle. There we go. One of the things I'm going to do, I have a piece of uh, angle I'm going to clamp down. Now this drill press vise should not spin at all if it happens to grab because I've left the belts inside of the drill press a little bit slack. It's not as tight as it should be. So if this bit grabs inside the aluminum, it should slip on the pulleys before it spins the vise. But I'm still going to put this in here just to be a little bit safer about the whole thing. Drop my table down some more. All right, let's give it a shot.
definitely not the cleanest hole I've ever drilled, but uh, that's the hole. Let's take a look at the bit. I know this is going to be super hot too. Well, I definitely dulled the points a little bit on the sides, but I think if I had taken some time and cooled it a little bit, or um, not gone as fast, I think it would have held up a heck of a lot better, but that's not bad for a wood bit. So, would I recommend it? No. Does it work? Yep. Yeah. I think so.